Homecoming Week was a big success, and NSU TV News was there covering everything for you. Plus, we'll have all your NSU sports and weather coming up. I'm Nathan Magner. And I'm Sarah Gandy. Your news starts now. Homecoming is always a fun and jam-packed week for NSU students. We were at most events for you and have this report. Homecoming Games, the theme for NSU's 2015 Homecoming Week. This year, there were many different activities for the NSU students to take part in, but some of the most intended were the lip sync competition on Thursday night in the A.A. Fredericks Auditorium, the pep rally and the parade held on downtown Riverbank, and of course, the football game on Saturday at Turpin Stadium. But what does homecoming mean for NSU students? I have to say the football game. NSU's homecoming game is usually one of their biggest games of the year. It gives me an opportunity to invite my friends and family down from back home. Also, I get to show them around Northwestern. I guess you can say NSU's homecoming is a great experience for everyone. Uh, my favorite thing about homecoming is uh, your family comes down and they get a chance to spend time with you. You get to show them around Natchitoches and show them all the events that's going on. You get to go to the parade, and we have a big pep rally after the parade. There's the big game. You know, you get to meet new people around in the shoe, maybe people you've never seen before, and you get to hang out with them, meet new friends, create all kind of opportunities to get in touch and socialize with people outside of just the classroom. Homecoming is about being home, coming home. It's about celebration. It's about you know, alumni getting to come back and see how far the university has come. It's about current NSU students getting to know alumni, getting to see and hear what their college experience was like. This year's homecoming week in on a very positive note as the Demons defeated the Lamar Cardinals 48-35. to A big thanks goes to the NSU Student Activity Board, the faculty and staff, President Dr. Jim Henderson, and of course, you the students for making NSU's 2015 homecoming a success. For NSU News, I'm Darian Preet. Do you like to lip sync your favorite songs? Well, it seems that NSU, everyone on campus loves to do it around homecoming time. Brian Cook was at the homecoming lip sync night and has the story. During homecoming week, the one event everyone looks forward to is the lip sync and homecoming hunters competition. The homecoming games, coinciding with the Hunger Games, was this year's theme, filled with costumes and crazy dances, Everyone represented their district and gave the crown laughter. Thanks, District 6. We will take it from here. Lip sync was good, man. Uh, it's my actually like my second time coming, and I think I picked a good year to come to this one. Was it better than last year? Uh, I would say it was a lot better than last year. It had great acts this year, and uh, everybody did good, man. The entertainment tonight was Daka Boom. We found them at we found them at APCA, which is the uh, convention that we all go to, where we find different 
entertainment events. So we found them at Africa, and they were really good. I think they reached a variety of students. The MCs are very funny. We should definitely bring them back for some more events on campus. Oh, awesome. Actually, one of the best crowds we've had on tour. It's so nice when you get that energy back from the audience that you put into it. It's invigorating and creates a relationship. It's awesome. It's so cool watching. <laughs> Clearly, so much time went into making this an incredible thing, and they yeah. cared so much. For the Homecoming Honeys competition, Tri Sigma took home first place. In Lip Sync, Tri Sigma also won first place for Sorority. Kappa Sigma and Pi Kappa Alpha tied for first place in fraternity. And Make Your Own Theater won first place in the general category as the eyes were in their favor that night. For NSU News, this is Brian Cook. Are you getting ready for Halloween? Something big has come to Natchitoches that will scare you into the upcoming holiday spirit. Darkwood Scream Park. Darkwood Scare Park opened its doors on October 2nd, 2015. Since its opening, it has had a lot of success. It's been great. We've had a lot of community support. Um, it's been, it's exceeded what we expected. The Scare Park has not only reached out to the city of Natchitoches, but it gets NSU students involved too. We do draw a lot from Northwestern, from the theater department, from the arts department. So uh, a large percentage of our cast is actually from Northwestern and our NSU students. So um, we have a lot of input creatively and, and otherwise from, from the student body. Well, at first I was just a makeup artist and then um, I got to know Marty and Jason and they learned a lot about me and they went ahead and hired me as backstage manager. So it's been, it's been an experience. I've learned a lot about managing people and doing a lot better makeup than I already do. Um, so it's been, it's been a really good learning experience for me and I've really enjoyed it. The owners of Dark Woods are not only thinking about this year, but the future as well. The park is designed for multiple attractions over a several year period. So we will uh, add our second haunted attraction next year. So we've already got that one in the bag. So NSU students, if you think there isn't anything to do this weekend, go visit Darkwood Scare Park. Uh, ticket office opens at 630. The main gate opens at 7. Um, the haunt opens at dark. We have an outdoor haunt this year. Um, we sell tickets until midnight and we stay open until the last guest leaves. For ticket prices and more information, visit their website. For NSU News, I'm Sarah Gant. All right, Samantha, so we just heard a little bit about Dark Woods, and tonight is actually their student night where student gets a $5 discount. Can you let everyone know what the weather's going to be like in case they want to go out there? Well, tonight's going to be a great night to go out there, but if you go tomorrow, you want to bring a rain jacket. We'll be back with this and more after the break. Northwestern State University offers you the flexibility to take classes and complete coursework on your own schedule with support from a network of caring faculty, staff, and fellow students. NSU is now offering a flat rate tuition exclusively for online learners. Northwestern State University is nationally recognized for quality, affordability, and student support. To explore our online degree programs and register for classes, visit nsula.edu slash ensu. Hi, I'm Jim Henderson, president of Northwestern State University and more importantly, a graduate of Northwestern State University. You know, our institution has 130 years of rich history, yet we remain on the cutting edge in terms of the delivery of higher education. Our beautiful main campus is located in historic Natchitoches, Louisiana, and we have a global footprint through our online education delivery. I encourage you to visit us, either online or in person, and see what the magic of Northwestern is truly all about. We look forward to seeing you soon, Forkham Demons. While at Northwestern State University, I took advantage of a first-class curriculum, majoring in accounting and business. 
Outside the classroom, I soaked up the opportunities. President of the Student Senate, Mr. NSU. Today, I enjoy a successful career as a financial planner. I'm Greg O'Quinn, a proud and successful graduate of Northwestern State University, and you can be too. Northwestern State University, students today, leaders tomorrow. The Louisiana Scholars College, founded in 1987, combines a great books core program with math and science-based classes. This is what makes it the state's only designated honors college. If you're looking to challenge yourself, your first step is applying today. I'm Samantha Sims, Dear NSU Weather. Our current conditions, the temperature is 81 degrees, the humidity is 80%, and the winds are going five miles per hour. As you can see our statewide temperatures, in Shreveport it's 81, Monroe 82, Alexandria 82, Lake Charles 81, Baton Rouge is 81, and the New Orleans is 82 degrees. As you see on our Doppler radar, we're focused on the southern part of Texas as we have scattered rain showers throughout the southern part. And you can see down here in the Gulf of Mexico, there is a big storm heading our way through the weekend. As you can see, this is the storm heading to Louisiana. We also have some rain north of the Panhandle in the northern Texas region. So if you're going to the McNeese game, make sure you bring your rain jacket because it's going to rain. Tonight's low is 65 and partly cloudy. And then tomorrow's high is 85 with partly cloudy and some rain. The five day forecast, Friday the high is 85 degrees, the low is 68. Saturday the high is 78, the low is 66. Sunday the high is 71, the low is 61. Monday the high is 74, the low is 59. Tuesday the high is 75 and the low is 53. As you can see, Saturday, Sunday and Monday there will be rain. Hopefully Tuesday will be sunshine. That is Samantha Sims with your NSU weather. Our alma mater celebrated its 131st anniversary homecoming last weekend, and we could have not have asked for a better celebration of Northwestern State University. If you are one of the thousands of alumni that returned to the beautiful city of Natchitoches for those activities, thank you for being a part of this important moment in Northwestern's history. For those who could not join us, we invite you to come home soon to see and feel the progress and vitality of your university. This homecoming focused attention on the accomplishments of so many Northwestern alumni, former faculty and staff members, and many others that are part of this great school. That recognition came in the N-Club Hall of Fame induction, the College of Education Hall of Distinguished Educators program, the awards ceremony in the College of Business and Technology, and in other programs. It was clear during homecoming that there's a new energy among our students. They are engaged, excited, and obviously proud to be a part of NSU. Their diverse talents and capabilities were highlighted in activities throughout the weekend that culminated with an exciting demon victory in Turpin Stadium. Homecoming was a showcase for numerous enhancements and improvements that have already helped raise the university to a higher level. It also provided opportunities for alumni and others to experience not just the importance of our school's rich history, but also the dynamic new spirit of optimism, excitement, and innovation that indicates the brightest days for our alma mater are still ahead. Your support, both moral and financial, has been instrumental in our efforts thus far and will be essential to our growth and development in the days and years to come. The end to this homecoming season just felt like a great time to say thank you. For convenience. The last day to get out and vote in the governor's race is this Saturday, October 24th. Make sure to go cast your vote for governor in all the local races in your voting district. The election results will be revealed Saturday night and runoffs will be held later this semester. The NSU Food Pantry is free to all students on campus. The pantry is open Mondays and Thursdays from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. The NSU Food Pantry is located in the Trizzler Power Plant recognizable by the brick smokestack that faces the Fine Arts Annex on Central Avenue. 
National student exchange opportunities await those wanting to study in places such as Alaska, Arizona, and Canada. NSU students are allowed to live and take classes at over 180 schools across the United States, as well as Canada, the U.S. Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and Guam. Credits earned will transfer back to NSU and can be applied towards the student's degree. Contact Dr. Keith Throm for more information. The Christmas Gala, performed by the Creative and Performing Arts Department here at NSU, is right around the corner. This year, it will be bigger and better than ever and also include a performance in Shreveport at the Strand Theater on Saturday, December 12th. Dates for the campus shows will be Wednesday, December 2nd through Friday, December 4th. Registration for NSU's 48-hour film festival will run until midnight tonight. The work period will run from Friday, October 23rd at noon until Sunday, the 25th at noon. Then, the screening and judging will take place on Monday, October 26th at 6 p.m. in Kaiser Hall, room 138. For more information, contact Dr. Allison Rittmeyer at the email address listed. And speaking of films, the NSU SGA will be showing the movie A Nightmare on Elm Street this Tuesday night, October 27th at 8 p.m. on the Iberville Green. The event is free to all students, faculty, and staff with popcorn provided for free. Come and see a good movie and have a great scare before Halloween. All righty, Javante, the Demons had a big win this weekend. What can we look forward to this next weekend? Well, we saw our offense and our defense work together and beat Lamar, so I think we can challenge Magnese State. Find out more sports news after the break. It is an honor to serve as president of our alma mater, and Tanya and I are elated to be back at home at Northwestern. All of us as alumni can play an important role in making Northwestern the premier regional university in Louisiana and the nation. We have the history, the traditions, the programs, and the people to make that goal a reality. At the heart of our plan to move Northwestern forward is a strong, supportive, active alumni base. Alumni create the reputation of a university, and you have already created a powerful and positive image of Northwestern through your achievements and your successes. We look forward to visiting with you over the weeks and months ahead to seek your input and gain your assistance on exciting initiatives that will elevate our alma mater to even greater heights. That, in turn, will enhance the value of the degrees you've already earned from Northwestern. Please plan to join us as we intensify the relationship between Northwestern and its alumni. We want to ensure that the future days for our students, both current and former, are brighter than ever before. Thank you, and welcome Davis. Northwestern State University will share a special tradition with our Shreveport Bossier City audiences this year, presenting our annual holiday spectacular, the NSU Christmas Gala at the historic Strand Theater, with two performances Saturday, December 12th. This production showcases the phenomenal talent and creativity of students from NSU's world-renowned School of Creative and Performing Arts. For ticket information, visit nsula.edu slash gala. Welcome back, Demon fans. I'm Javante Thomas, and this is your Demon Sports Blitz. The NSU football team reached a breakthrough at the right time this season. After suffering five straight losses, the Demons finally got a win at the homecoming game, beating Lamar 48-35. The NSU offense quickly dominated the first quarter, leading 17-0. The NSU defense also kept the Cardinals at bay by never allowing them closer than 10 points. Senior quarterback Stephen Rivers also had a great night. He threw his first two college passes of his career. And he also contributed 197 of the Demons' 479 yards of offense. Up next for the Demons are the Magnese State Cowboys. Well, every year Magnese is good, and um, you know it's it's always a challenge no matter where you play them. If you play them at home or you know at their place, I look forward to it. I always always have, 
you know, it, um, no, like I said, no matter where we play them. And, you know, have really good coaching staff, uh, have really good players, good schemes, both sides of the football. So it's a challenge. Um, they're playing good football right now. But, uh, you know, our guys are starting to peak at the right time. So I got confidence in our team. We're going, it's going to be fun. It's going to be an exciting week. We finally got that win, uh, got that under our belt, we got our confidence. So, you know, I'm looking for an exciting game come Saturday. Uh, they're going to be a very good team. Um, they usually are and stuff. So we're going down there, which is going to be difficult. You know, it's been a long time since we've, we've got a win down there. But, you know, it's just something else that we, you know, we put on our plate and we're going to, you know, work it throughout the week and, you know, put as a little chip on our shoulder to go down there and win. Um, you know, they're probably going to look a little differently on us, but, you know, hopefully that win, you know, shed some light on that, you know, we're a good team and we're not, you know, to be downplayed or anything like that. So we're going to go down there with the mindset and try to get another W. McNeese has had our number over the, over the last few years, and I wouldn't call it a robbery anymore because they've, you know, last few years has been lopsided. But we're looking to even that up a little bit by getting a, a good win this Saturday, and we're definitely looking forward to the challenge. Kickoff down in Lake Charles is set for 6 p.m. If you can make it to the game, you can always listen on the Demon Sports Network or at nsudemons.com. Moving on to soccer, the Lady Demons fought hard but fell short to Houston Baptist 3-1 after a two-game winning streak. This loss drops the Northwestern to its ninth place in the Southland Conference. They are two points out of gaining a tour tournament invite, so all of the remaining games are important. Next up for the Lady Demons are road trips to Nichols State and Southeastern this weekend. Yeah, Southeastern, uh, to talk about them a little bit, we've been in overtime, I think, the last three years with them, you know, us, I think, uh, uh, you know, coming out of the short end of those, so that, that's always a tough game, and uh, that'll be, you know, that'll be a challenge, and then the same thing, Nichols had a great win this uh, yesterday, so for us, we just have to really just go out and do it, we just really have to kind of put all the things about being on the road and everything else behind and focus on this, and that's the thing I've always liked about this team. We have the talent, and we just someone needs to step up and be a hero. And this weekend it was Cass, and who knows who it will be next weekend. Yeah, this weekend will be tough. Uh, it's always hard going on the road, uh, especially we've had three home games, which has really helped, you know, the fans and everything really pushes you through the full 90. Um, but this weekend's really important. I think everyone knows that. So I think that we're all going to bring our best to these last three games and leave everything on the field. The Lady Demons are at Nichols on Friday at 4 p.m. and then at Southeastern on Sunday at 1 p.m. Good luck, Lady Demons, and we hope you can pick up some points this weekend. The Lady Demon volleyball team fell short to SLU last Saturday, 1-3. The Lady Demons are now 3-7 in the Southland Conference and still have a shot of making it into the conference tournament. To do so, they'll have to pick up some key wins this weekend down at Lamar and Sam Houston State. Lamar's somewhat similar to, to Stephen F. Um, in that they have very talented middles and they want to run their offense through them. But, you know, I'll put our middles against anybody. Um, so if we're able to slow them down and kind of make some other people try to score, um, I think we'll be in a good position. Um, so it, it's not, a, posi it's not a, a matchup that we, wouldn't, we won't be used to. Um, and then Sam Houston, you know, obviously that was a great match when we played them here, and I think we were right there in a position to take that match in the fourth set, and it just didn't work out um, and let it kind of slip away in the fifth. Uh, but, you know, they, they have enough talent on the roster that they're, they're even doing some different things now than they were when we played them, so we're going to have to watch some, some film on them and kind of figure out how we want to go about it. Gay time at Lamar tonight is at 7 p.m. and then the Lady Demons travel up to Huntsville to take on Sam Houston State on Saturday at 1 p.m. The NSU basketball team will return to the spotlight tonight at Perther Coliseum at 6 p.m. at the tip-off event. This will be a fun event open to the public to promote the upcoming season. The Purple Haze Pep Band and Spirit Groups will also be performing. Also in attendance will be Dr. Jim Henderson who will be taking on point guard Jalen West in a game of Demon, a rematch of the summer's horse game. Be sure to come to the tip-off in the rest of the basketball season to support your Demons and Lady Demons. And for all your Demon Sports coverage, make sure you go to NSUDemons.com to get game recaps, schedules, and more from our lovely sports department. And that will do it for your Demon Sports Blitz. I'm Javante Thomas. And that will do it for this edition of NSU News. Thanks for watching. I'm Sarah Gandy. And I'm Nathan Magner. Have a great night.